Alright everybody, welcome back to Am Your Hero and I'm just going to talk about goal setting. Mainly for if you are trying to go on a vacation. So, if I would say partner up with somebody because it's kind of expensive. Um, I say kind of because I don't, because some people, like for black people, it may not be, um, you know, it may not be as easy. You know, it is it's for white people. Affordable. Or affordable, or should I say? You know, you may not have that type of money that runs in a family like that if you're black. So partner up with somebody, friend, two females. It might seem strange, but two guys. You know, guys do it all the time when it comes to bachelor parties or whatever else. So we're going to just start by adding up um, groceries. Okay, and then I'm going to tell you a couple secrets that you can do to lower the price because it will get expensive on the day to day things like that with these day in groceries so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at bills and rent that's first so when we take a look at bills and rent we see this is a pretty much a good breakdown although sometimes uh, when gas is due it's, it's like around seventy dollars too so just we add you know 168 you know plus another 70 mostly for for gas so we'll just go here 168 plus 70 and that's 238 so let's say the bills is 238 this is change let's go here bills 238 say total okay total. so we got rent 850 it's paid once a month bills 238 paid once a month now that's going to be added together so we're just going to plus 850 boom 1,000 dollars so we're going to add on here plus rent 850 most people don't pay this stuff all at once okay you will put you will pay this like one check will go for your rent and the next check will go for bills but it's better to do with this with two people especially if you're trying to save for a vacation anyway we're just going to start adding uh we're actually going to say equals here and 1,088. So now we're going to start adding up the crap that just gets ridiculous. Okay. So we're going to go grocery shopping. So for grocery shopping, we come to McDonald's. I usually get something like a Big Mac meal here, and that's going to be eight dollars forty nine cent. It's going to get more and more and more so then we get here this is and that's not really groceries that's just something you might want to get you could limit this um you don't have to get these every day you know with some, some of y'all work and y'all get mcdonald's every day you know you're going to have to start limiting that and start getting peanut butter and jelly sandwiches like i started like i do and your bread will last for a while um actually i use honey and honey will last for a while and your peanut butter will last for a while while and you start using that instead that will start lasting you for days this will last you for one day but we're adding it anyway this one here will add you for well last you for a couple days so a six dollars and so say plus um six dollars and seventy five cent equals that we're going to go here some broccoli fluoride, some, you know, kind of, you can steam it. I went this route because I don't really know when you calculate the fresh broccoli, so we're just going to go with this broccoli. So, plus $2.39. Plus $2.39. Okay. So, we're just going to go here now. That's also more steamed broccoli. But we're sticking with this because this came from Aldi's. This one comes from Snooks, which I only ever heard of Snooks when I came to St. Louis, so 
I don't know how many sticks there is around the globe, so um not really adding that one. I'm going to keep the one for all these though. 16 ounce over a 12 ounce. So we can exit that. Then we have our regular 12 count uh, large eggs. $1.35 from Aldi. So here we go. Plus $1.35. Now we're at 18. Plus some water. Purified water. That's what I get. That's what we get. We're going to add that. Plus two dollars fifty-five cent equals. Then we're going to add some milk. So plus two dollars seventy-nine cent equals. Now we're going to add this right here: garlic shrimp. The Viola selects garlic shrimp. It's it's good for two. It's not the family one, but um, it's good for two people, and you can have that for a night. Six dollars and nineteen cent. Something. I mean, if you compare that to getting freaking McDonald's, a Big Mac meal, you know, for one person, you know, you could get this right here for two people for one night, and it's cheaper than that. Okay, so you want to get that. So now we're going to add that plus six dollars and nineteen cent equals. Now we're going to add some Sprite. Sprite, we're going to have to, Sprite is a 12 pack. So let's say you drink, you're going to have to limit that to one a day. If you can limit your Sprite to one a day, you can make it. If you end up drinking like enough Sprite to last, enough Sprite to only last, like let's say you drink three a day, morning, lunch, and dinner. That's three Sprite. So three, three, six. Three, three, that's, there's, there's your 12 already that are gone. That only lasted you for four days. But if you limit it to one a day and you drink it sparingly throughout the day, add water, okay, that's going to help you save. Because if you don't do that, this $5.75 is damn near $6. That's about to cost you, that's about to cost you like $11 every two, like every, like twice a week to get a 12 pack. And then you got to get another 12 pack. So that's 575 and 575, you drink that, and that's gonna be that. And then you'll have to end up you'll be in like $22 in two weeks. Then you'll be at $44 in the month. So you gotta, you know, kind of be careful with when prices get like that and try to drink sparingly. Okay, so that will be that. So we're just gonna add that now. So we'll say plus $5. 25 cent for that. This is for being, this is like when you're being careful and going through different things um, throughout the week. So, then you got canola oil. This will last for a while. What you want to do here, I know it doesn't, it doesn't cost that much, it's only like $2. But what you want to do here is you want to use only canola oil for fries only and have separate canola oil that you use for, uh, well, other canola oil that you'll be using, you're probably going to be thrown away. Like if you're frying um, anything that's got a lot of breading, like like let's say um, chicken or freaking pork chops, stuff like that. That has the type of breading that will just soil that freaking oil like big time. Like for instance, if I make crackers and uh, mix the crackers with... Um, mackerel and make mackerel patties the oil is pretty much ruined after the third time we're going to add this plus two dollars equals good news about oil that will last you for a while you that's not something you'll be rebuying all the time uh, unless you just use a lot of oil next will be the butter it's basically 95 cents so we're just going to say a dollar Plus a dollar. Andy's fish breading. I use that. So it comes from Snooks. I have to ask Snooks because uh, really I didn't think about it. Well, I kept going to Instacart because I was just trying to get these prices. I guess I could have gone to Walmart. But for now, Snooks only is a dollar. So we're going to add that. And 
and then uh, you can get this on dollar eighty nine cents. Get this here at um, Aldi's. This is Radiance, some dishwashing liquid, and then you just use that for your dishes. This is the, this is kind of this is pretty good here. It can help. It really gets the grease off. Grease off, and it's cheap. If you want, you can get the smaller ones from Dollar Tree, uh, like the Ajax brand, and that's only a dollar. Um, but for now, we're going to add this plus one dollar eighty-nine cent. Then, we're, this is what I get. I be getting these bangs all the time. I gotta be careful about these damn bangs I be getting. Now, my bangs, when I get them, I, they usually, I don't drink them all the time. So it might last me, let's say one bang is two fifty nine. It might last me three days. Because the whole can is like 300 milligrams of caffeine. But a bang usually might, might, might last me like three days. Because in between there, I'm drinking water. I might drink some juice. Excuse me. I might drink juice. I might drink Powerade. Something like that. And, um, but for this here, we're just going to add this right now. So it's basically, so $2.60 uh, plus $2.60. Okay. So, next. I do drink these. I love these energy drinks. It tastes good to me. Okay. Now, get sick sometimes. You don't feel so good. You need self ibuprofen. Walmart, I have found, is pretty cheap as, long, as well as Aldi's as far as the brands go and how much it costs. So, we're going to add that. So, basically, $2. So, plus. Two dollars equals. Next, if you want some pain relievers, acetaminophen and ibuprofen are both different. Ibuprofen's for your uh, inflammation, acetaminophen's not. It's you know for pain, but it's the same thing. It does the same thing as ibuprofen, except for help with inflammation. So they both help with pain, and uh, they're fever reducers. Anyway, same price. So, we're going to add that. Plus $2. Now, gummies. Your vitamins. Lady likes these. We used to eat these. Gives you some, um, it gives you some energy. And zoom in here. Energy, immunity, and metabolism. Which is pretty good. So all that's all that's good stuff there. I'm gonna add that. So nine dollars and seventy-four cent. Just round up one. So plus nine dollars. I'm gonna say we'll just we'll just keep it as it is. One dollar seventy. Well, we'll round up. Go ahead. One dollar seventy-five cent equals. Now we're back here. This is basically five dollars and sixty cents. So Astro Glide personal water based lubricant. You know for when you're doing stuff in the bedroom, having sex and stuff like that. So you sometimes might need to use that either for yourself or um, for toys or you know for your girl or if you're using a condom and you might get dry stuff like that. So you want to you don't have to use this. And that's my lady's favorite kind that works well with her body. So we're just gonna say plus five dollars and you know, sixty cents. Cause like, come on now, with that fifty-nine. Now here we are. This is over the counter at Walmart. VCF vagina contraceptive film. This is. A birth control option kills sperm on contact, easy insertion, begins to dissolve instantly, hormone free. So you can't say, oh, it's gonna mess with my hormones. Oh, you don't have to worry about that because it's hormone free. So let's add that birth control option which you, that you need. So plus 
$9.96 equals. See, this is climbing. And this is just like getting your regular stuff. Stay free. So, this is kind of my lady uses uh, um, overnight pads and things. You don't. You only need this about once a month. And look how many is in here. 40. So this thing lasts, shoot, seven days out of the week. Seven days again, seven days again, seven days again. That's 24 days. You know, that's 24 days. But you know, you know, they don't have this every, you know, they don't have it, period, you know, every, every day. You know, it's seven days out of the week, or unless you're like her and you're on the next one, you know, it might skip a month. And then you have the next month, and it only lasts four days, something like that. Um, but that's the birth control next one that lasts for three to four years. But eventually you're going to come across this, and you'll need this. So plus six dollars, and uh, we'll just keep it exact. Why not? Eighteen cents. And I'm just going to keep it exact all the way through, even if that's fifty-nine or something ridiculous. And we got these toothpaste here. This is not usually no eighty-five cents. Usually one dollar. I don't know why it says this, but every time I buy this toothpaste, it's a dollar. Okay. So I'm going to use my real-world knowledge. If this is despite what I just said, because it's not 85 cents. I don't know why it's saying that. It's a dollar when you walk in the store. Okay. So plus the toothpaste. Plus a dollar. Okay. Equals. Next. These are pretty much like halos. Um, Mandarin oranges kind of things. My lady likes these small ones. They peel easy. It's easy for her to peel. So I'm going to add that. We eat these at night, and we usually get two of them when we do go grocery shopping. Okay? But you don't have to because look at the price. But, I mean, we're just going to say one. And because uh, you're probably not going to always eat these at night all the time. So we're just going to add that, too. So we're going to add it. $3.37. And 37 cent. Eat. What what just happened? Hold on, we gotta go back. Something weird happened. I don't know what I pressed. Okay. Uh. Plus. So three dollars and thirty-seven cents. Okay, there we go. Equals. Boom. Alright, next. Apples. I grab two for work or one for work sometimes. And sometimes I don't. But just because I buy them, I'm going to add them. Plus $4.44 equals. Next. This is nice and easy. It's $2 pretty much. Make this in the morning. It lasts a while. You make this in the morning with some um, brown sugar and some butter. And that's it. <laughs> brown sugar, butter, water. And it's it's okay. You want it maybe with some apple uh some ground cinnamon. Okay. So we're gonna add this. Okay, plus two dollars. Now, my lady also likes these Jamaican me happy, but she doesn't get these all the time. These are sparingly. Okay? So this is $4.48. So plus $4.48. Then, toilet tissue. You know, you, most people get the cheap brand. Get Scott. Scott toilet tissue brand usually is gone. So we're going to add that. That's what we get. Okay, so uh, plus three dollars eighty-two cent. Some deodorant, twenty-four hour protection, pretty good to me. I think that's just fine. Why not get the twenty-four hour protection kind? 
um, Lady Use a Suave, so that's what we're going to be putting on here. Plus $3.73. So, me, I like Axe and Axe brand before dollars sometimes. And uh, so we're just going to add that. Plus, my deodorant that I get, the 48 hour protection. So, plus $4. Of course, I'm not getting that all the time. You know, it's not something you regularly get every two weeks. Okay, we're not done. We're not going coming to this part yet. We want to get to this. This is about how much stuff will cost at Applebee's. When you go to Applebee's, you'll get some steamed broccoli. You'll get some. Uh, I'll, I'll end up getting a full rack of ribs. So my lady will end up getting some Burby Street Bourbon Street chicken and shrimp. We'll get add some steamed broccoli. And it might be thirty-one forty-seven. She might even add. Um, actually, we're gonna do that. She'll add a cake, like a um, chocolate meltdown. So we'll just find that real fast. I'm getting cold, man. Okay, here it is. Triple chocolate meltdown. Say order. That's more what it looks like. It'd be like $37.46. Now, do you see this? So, this food, we'd be getting full off of this. Okay? But we don't be eating it all. And y'all probably won't either. Alright? So what you want to do with this is you want to try to limit these kind of expenses to once a, once a week. If you can do it. Or once a check. And then what you want to do is you want to snack okay and you're also going to be uh you know eating this and using them as leftovers so that way maybe for three days you'll eat these okay you'll eat this you probably won't be able to eat the fries but for three different days you'll be able to eat a uh, fast food just spread it out you know it's like oh, i feel like eating some fast food or something like that and you really like Applebee's? Well, look at that price. It's $37.46. Like, don't be spending every time you get paid. You know, that's, that's you know, 60, you know, like, 70 something dollars out the door for the month. Are you getting paid or worse? Let's say you get paid and you want to spend money on this three times before you even, you know, ask you're hitting dang near $90. If you're spending money on this three times before you get paid again, it's a hundred bucks. You gotta be real careful. It's better to spread this out. I know how you might feel like, yeah, but I wanna eat something tasty. I wanna eat some good food. Spread this out over three days. Eat snack in between that. Eat your apples, eat your oranges or bananas or something like that. Okay? And you can make it through this patch of so being able to save money when you're eating this. All right. Okay, so we're going to add the thirty-seven dollars and forty-six cent. That's with us picking it up, not with a um, delivery. So plus thirty-seven forty-six. Boom! Look at that jump. That's crazy. Imagine spending money on this three times <laughs> before you get paid again, hitting ninety dollars. Will be crazy. Now, um, so that's that, that's that might I believe that's it. So we grab your hair. So I believe that's it. Okay. So now that's the total price of that. And so here we are. Okay, we're at this amount. A hundred. 43 and 54. So we're going to say groceries. Okay. Groceries. And it's not necessarily, it's just kind of stuff that you spend along with your groceries. Other stuff that's not even food. Okay. Some stuff lasts longer than other stuff. But that's just how life goes. 
Okay? So, let's go back to our calculator. 143.54. Let's add that. 143.54. And we'll just add that to the, um, we'll just add our groceries to the bills, basically. So, we'll just say plus bills total, uh, 238 with that check. So, we're going to have to say equals. And then let's say the next week, the next two weeks you buy the same thing. So, now... We're going to go down here, and it's going to be groceries, um, which was this calculation here, plus the rent, and that one's going to be hard. That's, that's hard on that. Okay, so now that we got, oh, you got wet. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. My baby came in. She's all wet from the rain. She probably just wanted to see the moon or something. You can't see you the know? Oh, no. She said she can't see anything out there. No moon. No stars. Just rain. All right. Um, so that's what we got there. So let's do the calculation. So I, I, hopefully I don't press nothing wrong. There we go. So we'll do this here. Plus 238. So here's the here's this total. We got 381.54. And now we're gonna do this total. So we're gonna do this. We're set. 143. Point. Oops, supposed to be 54, not 52. It was an accident. Let me 54. Plus 850. Now look at that. That's when stuff get crazy. And that's a price for like a house. The 850 type rent. You know, for, for renting a house. Two bedroom. Okay. Here we are. This, so these two things, that's if you're spending it, if you're spending groceries every two weeks because for the week of the bills, it'll be this much. For the week of um, groceries, would be for the week of rent, it'd be this much. Okay, so now, so now here we are. So here, here we. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little distracted. The rain is just pounding. I'll get a little one second. Okay, so here we are. So boom. Now let's type in the vacation price. Vacation. So we'll take a look at the vacation. Well, I'm interested in is the whole aquatic experience. This has got a wellness and spa, something my lady would be interested in. So it'd be pretty much good here. So in this place, say up there, ZotreeResorts.com. And at Zotree, it says cats and rays pool or out on the beach. Indulge in a wide array of aquatic activities, including kayaking and paddle boarding. That's my main thing. I want to do the kayaking and paddle boarding. Uh, you can cast a line, enjoy world-class flies, spin and tackle fishing, and the Chukti Lagoon. That sounds awesome. I like fishing. So those things interest me. The also of the wellness and spa interest is her. So that's pretty good. Now, to the price. Boom. Here it is. Flights and resort package price. Okay. Along with the transportation to and from the marina with company upgrade to non-stop service and then price per person. And in total price. Here it is. Now this is for, I believe, let's see what I set this for. We gotta scroll up here. I set this for uh, like a five-day stay. A one like from a Monday to Friday stay is what I set this for. So let's go down. So five-day stay. Okay. Here's the price for this: two thousand eight hundred and seventy point eleven. 
So let's say vacation price. Now this is just what this is, okay, until I start adding crap, okay. That's how much this is, all right, is this. Now, just to make sure we're good or we're covered, I will either be packing another $500 or another $1,000. My lady recommends that we pack another $1,000 on top of it so that we're okay with any hidden fees or anything like that that might hit us, which is a smart thing to do. She's pretty smart talking about that. She's been researching this stuff for a long time, and I believe that she came up with the best answer. So we're going to do what she recommend, was throw a thousand dollars extra on there for um, anything that might happen. So here we go. It's now plus. It's now plus the two thousand. 870 11 cent and we know that would be 3,000 okay so it's almost almost 4,000 but it's not so here we are 3,870.11 so we're trying to get here now you saw them freaking groceries that we had right you saw that you saw that and that's with both grocery days you know for the month if you're if you got groceries and you have to use groceries, you know, there's some stuff in there that people get. We left out like sauces and other stuff like that. But I'm just giving you minimum kind of like stuff you would get. You know, how much all that stuff would cost at cheap places and trying to do things in a cheap way and trying to do and trying to add in there, you know, some, some trips to McDonald's sometimes or, you know, sometimes you might want to go to Applebee's, you know, to get some good stuff. And I'm talking about two people because we're gonna, it's gonna be taking two people to try to do this, okay? Now, that's that price there. So now we gotta go to um, the prices of both people what they make, okay? And how much that is. Minus bills for one person, rent for the other person, whoever take care of the bills and whoever take care of the rent. So we're gonna have to go through that. You know, plus it's been calculated with minus, with minus uh, in a in a two week every two week format, with minus twenty percent because of taxes. So here we go. So here's this. Okay, this is for every two weeks, one thousand a hundred and ten for one. So let's say first person. 1,110. That would be, let's just say lady. Because that's her. She's the one, she's the one that lucked up and she's killing it. Okay? So lady's that much. We're going to say me. Me? Okay? I'm doing poor. <laughs> I'm not doing as hot as she's doing. But for me, every two weeks, it'll be looking something like this. Uh, 499.2. And I can't estimate that up because there's, there is no estimating a check up. It is exactly as it is. There's just nothing you can do about it. So it's going to be for me 499.20 and 20 freaking cent. Now, here's... Here's where we start minusing. Uh, we gotta do this twice, okay? Because um, no, we gotta do we gotta do this. Yeah, we gotta do this twice. On one hand, as you can see, if rent is due, I can't pay rent. It's eight hundred fifty. It's more than what I would make in in a, in every two weeks. My lady, on the other hand, could do that. So. If we did that, if we did her minus the rent, then we're hitting this. Okay, so let's do it now. And this is some estimations, okay? It's not super exact with the 20 per minus 20%. It's just, and that's as close as I can get it. I learned that from my boss. He told me your check that you think you're going to get minus 20% for taxes taken out. And that's like kind of like what you're really going to get. So we're going to do that minus 850. And this how much, not much left over for her. It's just, it's just not. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Take two people. And that's what, that's what doing good. 
okay? So there's that. So the next one that she gets, I'm going to have lady. There she goes. Okay? So that, there's nothing for her to pay. Pay nothing. Um, fourth week. Okay? So that's right there. The whole thing's there. Because me, I gotta do minus. Okay? Sure, she might, sure, she might, let's just say that, let's not say pays nothing, let's say groceries. Let's say groceries, all right? Pays groceries. As y'all saw, 143.54. I'm gonna say, uh, minus groceries. Then we hit equal. So let's do that. One, 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 zero, minus 143.51. Boom. That's good. Here we have this much left over for her. Me, it's a sad story. Because I will just do take care of the bills. So for me, it's me minus bills. And the bill, as we saw, is up here. Um, 238. Minus 238 for me. So, boom. Start over. So, we hit my 499.20. Minus 238 bills. And, yes, that's my job. I take, try to take care of the whole bills. Now, we're hitting 261.2. Okay, now, that's, that's where I'm at. Now, that's my first check along with her first check, okay, for the first two weeks. Then we get our second one. So now, let's say me, 499.20. If everything is going right, if none of us sick, if, you know, we missing days or or something, or we have to leave, or you know, real life takes over a lot of times, so not much you can do about it. But those are like the miscellaneous stuff that kind of happens. Not everything is not so flawless all the freaking time, it's just not. But I added this in a way to where our breaks actually are subtracted, so that way it's like more correct where our 30 minute breaks are subtracted because they don't pay us for that. <laughs> so instead of eight hours, it's seven and a half, and for me, instead of Seven hours, it's six and a half, you know, because they don't count your breaks. They don't pay you for that. So now let's go to me. So 499.20 minus me paying the groceries. And I'm at 355.69. Now, let's add up everything that we have. Let's add up what we both have when we have to when it when it's rent time and what we both have when it's not rent time paying groceries. Let's say we're because we're like saying we're buying double the, double the groceries or something like that. So here we go. So lady and me first check. Leftover. Equal. Okay. So actually, you gotta add it up. Leftover semicolon. I'm gonna hit this button. We're gonna hit enter. So 260 rent. So she she's got that leftover. Plus me, cause ladies first and then me. And me leftover 261.2. Okay, equal. Now we're going to see where we're at. Because we'll remember, we're trying to save up for this doggone vacation. We're trying to hit that 3870 And we're trying to see um, how long it will take us every month. Because this here is set in a month. So whatever, once I get done with this calculation, 
it'll be what can we really save every month to get to that you know three thousand and whatever we're just going to see and I'm just going to keep hitting the equals button to uh, include every month once I figure this out so we have this here so now I know it's a long video but hey I'm trying to help y'all out in case this is you guys 261 20 cent boom so what you got left over here is 521.20 okay now time for the next one lady and me second check left over hit enter so now it's our second one this is the one where it's groceries okay matter of fact I need to make sure I'm not messing myself up and add that right there so it matches so left over so this is the grocery time so lady first for her she did groceries 966.49 okay plus me which would be what I had left her left over if I did groceries 355.69 okay equals now we add that 966.49 plus 355.69 here we go on this one this is what we got left over 322.18 you know it's not exact of course because of dumb taxes when you're purchasing everything it's like I would have to times 11 um, I guess I could for taxes like it's like a 11 11 cent for every dollar so let me see something so so I got that so let me just do something I'm gonna take groceries the grocery amount 143.51 times 0 0.11 so that adds fifteen dollars that's fifteen dollars and like seventy eight cents which I think is significant enough to add so what we're going to do we're going to add that we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to add um those taxes that the 15 dollar taxes that come with them groceries so 143.51 plus the 15 dollar and 78 cent taxes now we're looking at 159 so for the sake of this video and sake of more accuracy we're going to redo these we're going to redo these parts starting with the groceries okay so plus taxes 159 plus 29.29 we're doing 159.29 and then we got to redo this amount so one second let me do her first 1110 minus groceries 159.29 so we're looking at this right here 950.71 man we're getting more accurate here and for me we'll see what it is for me 499.20 minus 159.29 and there we go 33.91 now we got this so first one first check it stays the same it's the second check that's that's changing uh lady and me both of us we both did the did the, the grocery part on our second checks so this is wrong <laughs> and this is wrong um yeah it is wrong so it's actually a little bit less 950.71 and then oh it's missing a number okay and then three what what the one second okay now here we are 
91. So, so here's that. So we're going to start this over. So 950. 0.71 plus 33 9 .91. is that much that's how much we had left over after groceries paying the paying that crap so here we are that's how much we got so 1290.62 now here's the trick so we got that left over. So if we add, so that's all we're going to say for the month, including two checks. Okay? Left over. Semicolon. So now we just do 4 to 1.20 plus. The 1,290.62 equals, and we'll add this. So we'll say plus a 521.20 equals, and here we are 1,811.82. That's for the month we have left over if we do things sparingly. Now, here's the trick is to if you have family members or friends something like that and here is a trick find food drives and you have to actually make the effort to use the food that they give you unless it's bad okay this is going to actually save you grocery money because it's going to save you from always going out you might get milk sometimes you might get toilet paper you might get hand sanitizer you might get yogurt sometimes i did um hair um you know, soap to wash up with, which I didn't include but on accident, um, stuff like that. And then your family may be able to go to those same places. They're a different household, okay? And the stuff that they don't use, they can give to you. Friends, too. The things that they don't use, they can give to you. I remember getting abundance of, like, soap from hotels and stuff like that from, um, from these food drives. Soap, candy, freaking baby stuff i'm talking diapers stuff like that okay well we don't got no babies no use birth control as you saw that there's birth control options in there that's how important it is anyway that's going to make the groceries cheaper so if you're not as lucky enough to make as much as her or me i'm very sorry um but you'll have to do your calculations like this like i did okay also don't forget to include your electric uh, whatever fees you have to pay online when you're paying online for me it was Amron 100 a uh, dollar 85 and for water a dollar 95 okay so here it is for the month so we got this much for the month for the month so then we're gonna just see how many months it takes us so we're gonna say plus okay we're gonna times it again times two what did it give us? Nope. Oop. That, that was that was wrong. I mean minus two, so we get back what we was. Okay. So times two. Okay, we're not there yet. The price is three thousand eight hundred and seventy. So instead of doing times two, we're gonna go back. Okay. No, no, we're gonna go back further than that. Like right here we're gonna do times three so we're gonna say one thousand eight hundred and eleven dollars and eighty two cent times three months will equal five thousand four hundred and thirty five and forty six cents in three months with that amount if you're sparingly doing things, you can make it. And that's just with the food I gave you. And that's with the other stuff that's not food I gave you. That's with the bills that I gave you. Um, to get bill prices lower, you'll have to probably you'll have to call them and ask for budget billing and stuff like that. 
And during COVID time, you can tell you're having a hard time with COVID, stuff like that, and with your job. And you can go to um, Heat Up St. Louis or Heat Up wherever you're at. And I did that. I didn't get any message or nothing. It's just one day the budget billing for Amron went from $100 to all of a sudden it was just $30. It was just, it was just that. I got no message, no nothing. It took a long time. I'm talking like 90 days for it to kick in. It did take a while. And I freaking forgot about it. It took so long. And then boom, next thing I know, the bill is 30 bucks. So there you go. So we're just going to do a rundown through bills so you guys only found missing stuff. So we got cricket, so that's basically your phone bill. That's with two people, 60 bucks. Gas, we pre added that over $70. Water, $25.41. Sewer, $47.15. Amron, like I told you, 30 bucks. And then charter, $74.99. Why is that so high? Because they, because because of COVID, they decided to bump it up to another five dollars, or ten other ten dollars or something like that. And it went, yeah, ten dollars. So it went from sixty-five or sixty-four ninety-nine to now it's seventy-four ninety-nine. Went up by ten dollars. So there you go. Or yeah, ten dollars. So there you go. All right. This here, I had to get some breaks. You know, you might have some mishaps in there. But boom, the most you can do, three months, look how much money you'll have saved. Okay? As long as you're using those, uh, those methods. Now, this money can go away super fast. And I'm telling you where it's going to go. It's going to go, like, it might go on gas all the time. Even though gas be like, oh, $10 is half a tank. $20 is a full tank. Okay? Even though if you keep going 30-minute drives somewhere and back you're basically going in between half already and then you're making your regular commute to work and back now you're at half okay now you got to spend the 10 bucks and that can happen fast so then all the other stuff i didn't i didn't add in you know other other times where you might get the cravings and you feel like man you know some ice cream some candy more soda uh, more bangs for me like, let's say I'm sick and tired of getting tired, or, or me, I will get my male supplements, horny goat weed, um, um, shoot, uh, other stuff, that male supplements that I be getting, I might not feel so regular, and I'm like, man, my energy's low, I need my male stuff, and I might have to, I might do that, and listen, I be downing my male pills, <laughs> like, two, I be following exactly what I say, I don't, I don't be splitting them in half, like, I take two a day, okay? Two a day, and I might, but if I'm still not feeling good, I might bump it up two one morning, two at night when I go to sleep, and then do it again. And I might end up paying, paying that. And I get my stuff from the vitamin shop, you know, so it might be like seven bucks, okay? And that's when I'm just not feeling good. And I, that's just extra stuff like I'm telling you about that can happen, you know. And I end up going like me, I. To prevent me from getting sick, I end up going to this place called Strolls Herbs and like seven dollars for a, a, a four ounce or a one ounce or twelve twelve dollars for like a twelve ounce bottle of like eucalyptus syrup just to make sure you know when I'm coughing I don't get sick you know because that stuff is very powerful from Strolls Herbs it's all it's herbs you know it's medicine from the earth you know the no additives it's all real stuff and like um. Mail formula from there be like seven bucks. Like this stuff's not, stuff ain't cheap, you know. But that's just the extra stuff that that comes in life. But the best thing you can do is eat your leftovers. If it's like, oh, what am I going to have for lunch? Leftovers. What am I going to have for for dinner? Leftovers. Look in your fridge. Does your fridge look full of bowls and containers? Does it look like, dang man, I got to clean out my fridge? That's a big sign. That's telling you you're not eating your leftovers. That's telling you that you're spending too much. Okay, you shouldn't be cleaning your refrigerator out like bags and bags of just stuff. Okay, that's just letting you know you're not eating everything. Now, sauces, I understand that goes bad. Not everybody's going to use ranch on everything or not everybody's going to use barbecue sauce on everything or hot sauce on everything or anything like that. So, yeah, sauce can go bad, you know. And you don't, you're not always going to have a taste for something like like pickles or you know um in my case 
I'm not going to always have a taste for the mint ice cream. It tastes good, but when you know you want something, do, don't get the huge portion. Like, stay with your small portion sizes. That's going to help you. You're going to spend less money, and you're going to get what you like, and it's going to be small portion sizes. And you'll be able to eat it all or drink it all, okay? Instead of getting a large, if you're not sharing it with another person, get a small. Also, I'm going to tell you a trick. If somebody, if you or your lady or you want a pizza, one of you has to make a decision. Get her or him a small, let's say Papa John's pizza, one they like. Or just get a small instead of paying um, like $24 with delivery. Pay the amount that's for carryout and you can do that. And then and to pay the amount that's for carryout, you can do that. And get the small pizza and then you go ahead and just get something small that you like but don't get you know don't get another pizza or don't get a large or anything like that go ahead and you know eat whatever leftovers that you got from whatever from the restaurant from the other days it's still fast food okay so just try to remember that that y'all still want something that tastes good you look in that refrigerator okay look in there sometimes I know it's rough and you want to come on come home and eat a huge meal I'm telling you that if you come home and it's not like 10 o'clock, don't even worry about eating a huge meal. This is what you want to do. You want to eat till you're satisfied. You got to give it, you got to drink your water or your soda. And what you want to do is, it's still your soda. It's still, you know, whatever you got. But don't pour it out. You know, if it's flat, do like my lady do. You know, don't get the big ones, get the minis. Get something small that you can drink. All of it. You know, so... Because uh, you're going to feel bad when you keep pouring out soda. Or you're pouring out stuff because it goes flat. Me, I don't have a problem with stuff going flat. Some people have problems with carbonated drink beverages going flat. Okay? But I don't, I don't have that issue. I'd rather, I'd prefer my stuff to go a bit flat because I don't like the fizz. So, so it's their own person. You know what I mean? But anyways, I hope this video helped you. Um, as you can see, in three months... By following this advice, we could make it in just three months, $5,435 have saves. We could be able to be in Cancun or wherever we want to be with that amount. You know what I mean? And y'all can too. But, you know, get your person, um, you know, do y'all best. But it just kind of tells you where a lot where a lot of different miscellaneous places that money can go. You know, and like I said, those numbers aren't finite because sometimes you get sick. Sometimes you ain't going to be at work, especially with COVID. Like, look at me. I ended up touching somebody that told me they had it after 10 minutes, and then I'm out of work for two weeks with my boss. He's, he follows the precautions. You know, he's doing what he's supposed to do. And now I'm out of work for two weeks. You know, that's a, that's a check. You know, it's hard. It's hard crap. I mean, if he, if he calls me after a week, which I think he might, and he'll say, hey, you ready to go back to work? Are you feeling okay? Are you good? I'm going to say, yeah, then I'm coming to work. And then I then said I only lose one week of money, you know, stuff like that. But those those things happen. Had to pay for some breaks, 50 bucks, you know, and it had to be cash. So if you're hitting a point where now, listen, if you all are hitting a point where you start hitting your very important stuff that took forever to accumulate, I'm talking credit. Let's say you start out in an apartment. You got stalkers, weed buddies. People stomp above your head. You got the worst time ever being in this apartment. And you're like, dang, I want a house. You find a house in order to rent it, but you got to have, you know, 600 plus credit score. You get a credit one card. You start building your credit. It, you know, it jumps up $82. I mean, 82 points the first time. Then after that, it's three points. And then a little bit after that, it'd be like one point, two points, something like that. That's what you don't want to mess up. Do not... If you find yourself spending, you or your lady or your whoever you're with or roommate, y'all find yourself starting to dip in past your money, past your savings, past what you can be saving, and you're just dipping in multiple times into your credit, hurting your credit. Now you're actually getting fees on your credit, three dollars fees, like stuff like that. Um, time to develop a budget and stick with that budget the best you can. It's time to start spreading things out. 
Okay, especially with the amount that this says that we can be saving. Like that's not if y'all are at that amount, y'all should not be dipping into y'all's credit, ruin your credit. Cause if anything freaking happens, anything, all right, flood, whatever can happen, you do not want to go back to them freaking apartments. So you better make sure that your credit stays exactly where it's at. Keep following your credit rules. Don't spend more than 10% every month on your credit. And that's it. That's it. Okay? Don't be using that stuff. Unless it's some bull crap where you got a tire, flat tire, or some bull crap happens with the car and you have to spend the dang money. Okay? But hey, with this amount of savings, you should be good. You shouldn't even have to. Especially with both of y'all working like that. Okay? But hey, I hope this helps y'all. And um, shoot, save up, follow these, follow these tips, and you'll be able to go to Cancun or Jamaica. You know, find the places you want. Go on TripAdvisor, look at the reviews, look at the negative reviews, and and see what may what may or may not be a big deal for some people. They didn't like the top shelf drinks, or they didn't have top shelf drinks, but everything else was fine. And they gave it a bad review. If you like me and you a sports person, went wrestling, track. You know that stuff. You don't really care about drinks like that, and you don't you don't mind having the cheapest drink there, or or having a cheap drink that just tastes good. Then you're fine, okay? You'll be all right. All right. I want to thank y'all for watching, and uh, see you next time.